Here, friends, Sarah and Angela, candy corn back. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us because art is always better with friends. Friends like you. Now you need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay. We're first gonna draw the face to our candy corn. I'm gonna draw a circle for one eye and the same size circle for another eye. Yeah. Then another one. Then we can draw smaller circles in the top left. And let's color in the big circle and leave the little circles white. I love drawing with you, buddy. Same. Do you really? Yes. You promise? Yes. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do is draw with you. Now, if you guys at home ever need to take extra time during this step, you can always pause the video. Yeah. You got it? Yes. Oh, good job. All right, now we're going to draw, ooh, let's draw an angry candy corn vampire bat. I'm going to draw little check marks over each eye. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, and a big one. Perfect. Now let's draw the mouth. I'm going to start over here next to the eye, and we're going to come across like this, and then draw back up on the other side of this eye. Yeah. All right, now let's draw the fangs. We're gonna draw a line that comes down and then curve back up. There's one fang, sharp vampire teeth. And then we could do the same thing over here. Line down and then curve back up. All right, now we could also add cheek lines over here and on the right side. Okay, now let's draw the candy corn shape around our face. We're first gonna draw the bottom and we're gonna draw a curve that kind of matches the smile out like this. Yeah, now we need room to make an upside down V. So we're gonna curve out like this and then up and then we're gonna curve back down <laughs> like this. And then in the corner, we're going to curve back into the bottom. That's a crazy shaped candy corn. <laughs> I like it. I like your shape. That's awesome. <laughs> and it's okay that our two drawings look different, right? Yeah. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing. To have fun. And to. Practice. Yeah, remember to practice. The next time we draw this, I bet we can make it even look more like a triangle. Yeah. But that's okay. Yes. Let's, let's keep going. Mine kind of looks like a gumdrop. <laughs> you could turn it into a gumdrop if you wanted. Yeah. Okay, but let's keep a candy corn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we're going to turn our candy corns more into uh, vampires or bats. You, why don't you do a bat and I'll do a vampire. Okay. Because you can start by drawing a curve coming out right here for the left wing. And then you can match that same curve over here. Yes, now we're going to extend it even further so you could draw another curve that comes out from there. Yes, and then match the same thing over here. Good, and then you can draw upside down U's that come across and connect down here for the bottom of the bat wing. There's one, yeah, keep going and then do another. Yeah, that looked really cool. Now you can do the same over here. Draw upside down U's. In and then connect. Good job. That's awesome and pretty simple. Yeah. Now I'm going to change mine into a vampire. So we're going to draw his cape first. I'm going to draw a line that comes up on each side like this. Is that okay if you just watch? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to draw diagonal lines, short diagonal lines down on each side. Then we're going to draw a curve that comes in and it gets close to the first curve we drew. This is the part of the cape that comes up around our candy corn's head. I'm gonna connect each side with a little curve. That's the top part. Now we're gonna draw the cape coming down. I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines coming out lower. And then down at the bottom, I'm gonna connect these with a wavy line. Curve up, down, back up, and then back down. There's our vampire cape. That looks cool. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to also add feet and legs. So I'm going to draw one leg down and a little foot down here at the bottom. And then another one. 
down here. You could also draw little arms coming out. I'm gonna draw a little one like this. And this is his arm and his elbows. And then we can draw little fingers. So I'm gonna draw one finger that's bent like that. And another one. And that was kind of fast. So <laughs> if you need to, you can pause the video. But you could also just add fingers any way you want. You don't have to draw them like me. There we go, we got our little hands. He looks like he's getting ready to scare somebody. Yeah. Awesome, what do we still need to do to our drawings? Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. You could also do this lesson all over again and change your candy corns. Maybe you could turn them into a zombie. Or a mummy or a witch. Yeah, yeah, a witch would be really cool. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your candy corns. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.